everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So if you're seeing this video, that means I have successfully filmed and edited and uploaded. This video has taken me three attempts to film so far and it's just been a complete nightmare if I'm being honest. The lighting, my camera, everything has just not gone to plan. It's just been a complete nightmare, but I haven't given up as you can tell because this video is now live on my channel. So yeah, I'm gonna get that out there. Sometimes YouTube is hard, you know, but I just can't give up on it. There's something about it I just absolutely love and I crave. If I haven't filmed for like a couple of weeks, I just crave it so much, like the whole process. Even though it's sometimes really annoying, I crave it so much sometimes, so yeah. So for this video today, if you can't already tell, it is about my brand new hair extensions which I had fitted over a month ago now, which has gone by super, super fast. I'm here to tell you all about my first experiences with it because I've never had them in before. I've worn clippings when I was like 17 years old, I think, and that was as far as it goes with extensions. So here just to say, like, the follow up on my whole procedure and just talk about it a little bit more in depth because I did upload a catfish transformation type of video on my channel so if you haven't seen that yet check it out but that was the video where I transformed my hair into these luscious locks that I have at the moment. These extensions didn't just happen overnight, well they kind of they kind of did, but the procedure into getting them didn't just happen overnight. I spent over a year kind of like figuring out what length I want, what colour I wanted, you know, who I wanted to go for to fit them, like everything. Did I really want them? And was I willing to spend a certain amount of money on getting them? Because they're not cheap, are they? They're quite expensive, depending on, you know, the hair brand, the colour, the length, how much thickness you want. There's a lot behind it that I've done a lot of research on and come to a conclusion which I will talk to you guys about further on in this video. So yeah, for my extensionist I decided to go for a really lovely lady called Bambi. She works in Bristol, so if you are in Bristol then your luck is in because if you're looking to get hair extensions I would highly highly recommend going into her salon, having a consultation with her and booking some extensions in if you're happy with the advice that she's given you because she is absolutely amazing. She's so underrated in our area. I will leave a link to her Instagram down in the description box below. I don't know why I was pointing there, but I'll leave it in the description box below for you guys to check out if you are interested in getting your hair extension done by her. If you are in Bristol or if you're willing to travel, it's totally worth it. If you're looking to spend money and make it worth your while, then I definitely recommend checking her out. She is amazing. So I originally had my consultation with Bambi in March so surprisingly the colour match that she did for me is pretty accurate if I'm being honest. I'm super happy with the colour. The colours we decided to go for were Scandinavian Blonde and Mocha Melt. As you can tell the toner of the Scandinavian Blonde Mocha has kind of faded. It's more like a dirty blonde kind of shade now which you know I'm used to because my hair's kind of grown out from a balayage. I do need to heavily invest in some toners because I don't have any left at the moment so that's something I do need to do just to bring back that ashy colour again to my hair but I'm not too fussed with it at the moment. It looks pretty natural still and it doesn't really affect the way I feel about my hair extensions if you know what I mean. The length is 18 inches. I've got the Beauty Works hair extensions so they're human hair and I've decided to go for the Nano Bonds as you can see trying to get a little piece out for you guys so you can see it. I decided to go for Nano Bonds, as you can see this is a small strand of hair that is attached to my head and they're really really lightweight. They literally feel like my own hair now, I'm super surprised by how that feels because it doesn't really feel like hair extensions, it just feels super natural at the moment so I'm really really loving that. I love them so much, I'm obsessed, I can't stop looking at them, touching them, brushing them, styling them, like everything. So yeah, that was the length and then with the thickness I decided to go for 150 grams. My hair is naturally quite thick and bouncy, you wouldn't really think it when you look at it like in person but every single hairstylist I've been to have kind of been like I've never really seen hair of your texture before. So yeah, it's really, really bouncy. So we decided to go for 150 just to kind of make it even all the way down. And another thing I would say with my fittings, as at the front of my hair, um, I cut a really bad fringe back in December time. I had to private a whole video because of how bad it looked. So I really wanted to kind of grow out my fringe so it's all kind of like the same length. So we do have some nanos quite high up on the front pieces here, which look a little bit like... This. So this front piece here is all nanos um, and obviously I've got my natural hair just 
there and hopefully within the next few months I can get those front ones taken out and then it will be kind of like blended together if you know what I mean that is the plan um so yeah that's my extensions hopefully I've covered everything about where I bought them and everything now on to cost because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about the cost of my extensions so the price does vary I've done a lot of research on prices and everything and it definitely depends on the type of hair you want the quality, the length, the thickness, everything, like the weight, everything. So the reason why mine costs so much, and I'll talk about the actual price in a minute, is because the actual style, like the balayage is super expensive in comparison to like a block colour. The balayage extensions are pretty, pretty expensive because of the way they're styled and they're toned and the technique used to dye them. So the overall extension cost for my hair to be bought and to fit them was £570, I think. I know a lot of money, I just really really wanted these extensions and the way they make me feel, I'm totally invested in these extensions so I'm really happy with the price, especially for the quality as well, so that is the price of them. And again, it depends on the weight that you have, you can have 80 grams just to fill out some gaps and some you know, broken pieces around the front, you can have 100 grams which is just like, I would kind of say like that. So it still gives you length just without so much thickness. And you can also get 200 grams. You can get 24 inch extensions now. You can get 16. So it does definitely depend on the overall look and style that you want. It can definitely be cheaper. There are looks similar to this that can cost you 300 pounds. It just depends on the hair that you're buying basically. And then the maintenance is around eight to 12 weeks. So because my hair has actually been fitted onto my virgin hair, I can wear them for a lot more longer. Whereas if you've got your hair extensions fitted onto so like bleach blonde hair it needs to be looked at more regularly so that it can protect your hair more often with the whole procedure tongue twisty I don't know but yeah my hair is on natural hair so I'm getting them done in 10 weeks time so that is in the end of September so come up pretty quick to be fair so yeah for me 10 weeks is how long I'm having mine in for before I get them maintained and refitted the reason why I decided to go for nanos is because of this whole procedure it's a lot more safer on your hair and your hair can naturally grow underneath it it doesn't like get constricted by glue or heat or anything so it's just such a natural procedure to do you literally clamp on the little beads push up the hair and from what I can gather that's right that is it so hopefully my hair will be naturally like healthy by the time I get my hair extensions removed in a year's time, couple of months time, I don't know yet. So yeah, that is all about the hair. Hopefully I've covered everything. And if not, comment any questions or queries or anything you need to know or ask in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you guys on that. So I will cover the main reasons why I wanted my hair extensions fitted in the first place. So this year was going to be a big year for me. I had so much planned with travel and moving into a new house. But obviously all of that's been cancelled. I have no plans to do any of it at this current moment. One of those main plans was to travel to America for my birthday. And I just thought as I'm making a big effort and spending a lot of money on a trip, I want to look good for it. And I want my extensions in so that I didn't have to worry about my hair so much. My hair is a big confidence. It really does affect my confidence. And I've never really had long hair. It's not because I can't grow it. I've just never been patient enough to grow it. So I am hopefully going to grow out my natural hair colour and then cut out all of the blonde that I had and basically be all natural. I have no idea what my natural colour is. I haven't actually seen my hair fully natural since I was about 11 years old I think and even then I used to use like spray bleach stuff and used to hair dry it in, it used to colour your hair. So I haven't really seen my natural hair colour as an adult for just for a long time basically. So yeah, I just want to grow out my natural hair and see what it looks like, if it suits me, if it doesn't then I can always dye it but I just really want to grow out my hair and start fresh um, and that's basically why I want my hair extensions fitted for travel and to grow out my hair naturally, kind of the two combined together. There's many other reasons why I wanted them done but those two are the main reasons why I wanted them fitted so yeah that is the reasons why. So for my hair products and like the washing and styling procedure I will share with you guys what I have invested in. So I have bought a lot of Beauty Works products mainly because I have a blue light card because I work for the NHS and also because the hair brand that I decided to go for were Beauty Works so I just thought it makes sense to buy the products to maintain my hair with and also they're highly recommended by most people who wear extensions. So the first 
products that I bought were the hair shampoo and conditioner. These are Pearl Nourishing Argan Oil Set. So these ones were £10 each from my stylist, but you can pick them up on the Beauty Works website. You can pick up a litre bottle of each, or you can pick up the 250 yeah, 250 bottles like this for around £22 for the set. And obviously if you get discounts and stuff from your salon, then go for it. It definitely saves you some money over time. And then for the hair mask, which is highly recommended to do once per week, I got the Beauty Works Pearl Nourishing Hair Oil Mask, which looks a little bit like this. And again, 250 mils in this one. So I use this weekly. And then moving on to styling products that I have. So the first one I picked up from Beauty Works website was the 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. It covers heat protectant, moisturises, it prevents split ends, and basically covers 10 different stuff all in one. So it's really useful to have actually. I don't actually have anything like this. So just spray it onto your hair, protect it, use it to style your hair with. And then I've also got the Dream Shine Spray On Humidity Shield, which looks like this. Picked up two little bottles of this just because I can have one in my bag and then one at home basically when I travel when I move around a lot my hair texture is quite varied so I use this just to kind of flatten my hair and make it sort of naturally blended into my hair extensions because I do struggle sometimes with those little frizzy bits at the top and I just spray this onto my hands and I just rub it together and just lightly press it into my hair to blend it into the extension so that is what I use this one for mine is so bad with the heat it's unreal and unbelievable sometimes I feel like when I leave places it's just like that when really it's not but it feels like it you guys who have frizzy hair you will know the pain on that one and then another thing which is really really useful but super dangerous for me is the after sun protective UV spray now I have had a bad experience when I use this first of all because I use a hell of a lot on my hair thinking you know it's gonna really moisturize my hair um, but it's really really powerful and it can make your hair really greasy so I would recommend using this a small amount at a time when I mean small like a very tiny amount for me my experience with this so far is it is really really good it does protect your hair from the heat but it's a very oily kind of product so only use it like small amounts at a time if you can and spray it from like a distance rather than like up close so yeah do a little bit of research on this product if you're not really familiar with something like this because I completely ruined my hair on the first time I used it I had to wash it again it was a complete nightmare and I will get on to the whole hair washing procedure and my first experiences a little bit later on as well <laughs> And then the last hair products which I'm going to share with you guys from Beauty Works are these Argan Oil Serums like this. And the reason why I picked them up in little packets like this is because it was cheaper to pick up 18 individual packets than it was to buy it by the bottle. So if you do your maths right, you can really save some money. It was £8.99 for 18 packs of these compared to... £12.99 for the same amount of product but just in a bottle so I just thought I would save my money and be a bit more smarter with it. These ones I use daily on the ends of my hair. I use a small amount probably like one mil per day just on the ends just to moisturise it and give it a little more shine and just protect it basically from daily brushing and habits like that. So these are really really handy to have and I highly recommend these. If you're going to invest in any of these products I would definitely recommend the shampoo and conditioner and these oils together they're okay for a starter for a beginner I just chose to kind of invest in everything as a whole because I did have a discount card so I just thought I'd go all out on that and just invest in those products because I do need it I do go out in the sun a lot and I do have quite frizzy hair and everything so those are the products that I feel like I definitely need to have to keep my hair manageable because I do kind of get really stroppy if my hair's just not going right it's one of my main flaws to be honest I don't cope very well if my hair is not looking good so yeah that's the reasons why I invested in those products and another product I actually invested in which I haven't mentioned already is the hair curler I will insert a picture here because it's currently in my bedroom and I can't be bothered to go and get it and unplug it and everything but I will insert a picture of what it looks like it is the curling wand I think it's 28 millimeter barrel type of thing the curls from it are incredible I'm super super happy with it I love it I don't use it every week because I don't want to overheat my hair all the time so for the curls today I've actually slept with my hair in plaits so it kind of create these really natural beachy kind of waves and I feel like it just gives a really nice effect without heating it so much so I will keep this in for a week and then next week 
I might curl it instead of sleeping in plaits. So yeah, I would sleep in these every single night in plaits to keep the curls in, or the wave should I say. And that is what I've done to style my hair today. And it's super easy to do. You don't have to use heat on every day. The only thing I do probably put heat on more often is the front bits here just to kind of blend it in to the extensions. But that is pretty much it with the heat that I use on it at the moment. So for hairstyles, there are only a couple of ways I can wear my hair up at the moment only because of the way I've asked for them to be fitted onto my head. So I can have my hair in a very low pony, I can wear it in plaits, I can wear it in a high ponytail at the top as well. Those are the main hairstyles that I can have at the moment until my hair grows out underneath like natural, like I said, like all in the same length. So it's not really a big deal that I can't wear my hair in multiple ways at the moment because I understand the process. You've got to be patient with these things um, and I'm quite happy with using those hairstyles at the moment just to get me through the next couple of months anyway. So for the actual hair washing procedure, the first couple of days of washing my hair were a nightmare, I'm not gonna lie. It took me so long to get used to, but now it's completely fine. It's just really getting into those nano bonds and making sure you're really scrubbing your scalp without kind of damage in your hair it does take a while to get used to that um, but for me it took me around a week and a half to get used to um, and I do wash my hair twice per week I try not to do anything more than that because it's just not good for your hair to wash it so often and regularly so I wash it on a Thursday and a Sunday I kind of try and keep it like that depends on what I'm doing during the week but I do try and do it on a Thursday a Sunday or a Monday depends on what I'm doing I just basically put the shampoo on my roots and then I condition the ends. So I just work from the conditioner upwards and I kind of go to about here with the conditioner. I don't go any higher, only because if you use conditioner and oils around your roots of the extensions, they can slip out. And luckily for me, I haven't actually had any hair extensions fall out, so fingers crossed it will stay that way because they've been really, really good for me so far. So the last thing I will say is a little bit of advice for you guys if you're watching this video because you have extensions or if you're watching this because you're looking into getting extensions done, um, my advice would be research and maintenance. Make sure you research exactly what you want and why and how you can maintain it. Is it going to suit your lifestyle? Because it does take a lot of time to style them, dry them, wash them, maintain them. So make sure you do have that time to invest to look after them because I have spent a lot of money on my hair extensions. Because they're not cheap, you do really want to make sure you are and you do have the time to invest in looking after them as much as you can. So that's my advice for you guys who are new to extensions. Just do your research, make sure they are the right type for you. Um, and if you don't want to heavily invest in extensions at the moment, just go for clippings and see how you feel. See if you like the length and the colour and everything. And if you do have extensions in at the moment and you're just looking for advice, if you're new like me, just make sure you're looking after them, washing them correctly, and contact your hairstylist who fit them in the first place. If you have any questions, like they're always there to help you. They're on this journey with you because they're fitting your extensions and maintaining them. So make sure you message your hair extensionist to make sure that you're doing the things right. If you have any problems like hair itchiness, my hair was super, super itchy to begin with, but I feel like it was just because my hair was getting used to it. I messaged my extensionist straight away and she said to me to send a picture. She looked at it, everything was fine, my scalp was fine, and everything it was just the fact that I probably wasn't washing my hair properly to begin with and the fact my hair was getting used to it so yeah message your extensionist any problems or queries you have about your current extensions and any products that you recommend to use if you're struggling with discoloration like mine as you can see from the thumbnail isn't as ashy anymore and I know it's because the toner has actually come out as I say in all my videos feel free to DM me message me comment if you want some advice on a more personal level then I'm here all the time I am on my social medias quite regular so just ask me anything on there and I'll get back to you guys give you some advice if I can so yeah this has been my hair extensions experience over the past month hopefully this has been useful and informative for you guys who are looking into getting this procedure done or you have them in and just curious about how I'm coping with it or if you watched my video before and just want to see how I'm doing now you know there's many reasons why you may watch this video hopefully it's been of some use to you guys um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed as always subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future and more of this luscious hair because there will be a lot more videos featuring this to come so yeah that's all for me today i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video